Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just got this kit from Mark over at Hobby Nut Models and I wanted to open it up and check it out. It comes with the figures. I ICM uh, 1914 Model T fire truck. Isn't that cool? That is a nice looking model kit. Um, obviously this is not the model kit. That's a painting. But yeah, I'm going to open it up and check it out. I'm so excited. Couldn't wait to do this. So, uh, Pop the pop the top on this Ukrainian scent box here and see what's in it. So this has a just a top and then the box opens, which is kind of different. Okay. Check it out. Let's see, how do you open these? open these bags I'm not a you know not a huge fire truck fanatic or anything like that but when I saw this I thought man that would really build up nice so here's the figures I don't do this it'll never focus so there's your their fire suit man that looks nice here's the back of him there's his hands oh boy look at that he's serious the guy was really serious but yeah there's his hands pointing or yeah, he looks like he's pointing with that hand. Oh man, it's got the fire hat. Oh, sorry. Fire hat there. And then that thing that goes on the front, right? Up on the front of the helmet. Right there. And an eagle. Where does the eagle go? I'm looking at the box. There's like a... There's a head of an eagle. I don't know where that's at. I don't see it on the hood. I don't... Maybe it goes. Maybe it goes on top of their helmet. I'm not sure. Oh, there's two of them. Must yeah. It must because it go there is uh right by the other helmet. Must go right on top. Okay. Cool. really loud bags quite a few parts very impressive must not be a curbside let's see here here's the, the rubber tires they're white got quite a bit of cleanup to do on the tires that's okay though let's open these up check out. yeah it's like um See the, the rubber, obviously, but take a razor knife or something and just clean that up. It's got those white tires. Why would they ever make tires white? I never understood that. Because, I mean, they're going to drive on dirt. What do you think is going to happen? All right, so we've got some tanks. It's like the water tanks of some, you know, for the fire truck. They're very nice. Very nice. Look, like it reminds me if I'm going to build a tank or something, not not that kind of tank but you know what i mean uh some sort of armor because of the the gray plastic and all there's some sort of coiled up hose i guess it's like a step fire extinguisher maybe the hand size fire extinguishers there's part of the seat another running board or something like that look at the little bitty teeny weeny knobs for the uh the tanks there's another water tank. Oh, I was about to say two steering wheels. Okay, so those are for probably to turn like a valve or something like that on. There's the ladder right there. Neat little ladder. Floorboard. Oh, these are nice kits. Man. Look at that. A Ford. Another ladder. It's like part of the, maybe part of the seat. Wow, super detailed. That's really cool. Here's the wheels. Got the lug nuts and everything. Rear differential. That is, I'm not joking, guys. These things are super nice. Wow. 
and on this stuff there's like zero flash I'm sorry I found a piece right there dang thought it was perfect there's your big uh, heavy duty which this is 124th but it looks like more of a heavy duty rear no yeah rear spring because that diff the diff uh, connects right there onto those square pegs that are in the inside of the axles there so that's nice there's the engine there's the cylinder head or yeah cylinder head right there with the spark plugs and everything lower uh, crankcase and uh, transmission housing hood sides no that's the that's the that's like the top and the sides on each for two sides of it a muffler steering wheel center I guess yeah there's the steering wheel that's neat they didn't make it together so there's the oh, okay this big round thing's not a tire that's just sprue so you've got the the outside of the steering wheel and then you have the inner part of the steering wheel very cool look at these little my phone is vibrating little bitty knobs little I'm and, and when I say little look at that those things are really small and there's not a lick of flesh you could cut them off and paint them it looks like another knob to turn on a tank or something like that there's the horn you know you, you squish the air bubble blow the horn and yeah the the fenders nice Ford engraved there on the running board oh boy my phone's really really going off all right and here is your radiator oh you know I noticed there's no um no brass parts but that's okay we can take care of all that so the radiator here uh headlight mounts right here I see these on Model T's. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe it almost looks like an oil tank or something. I don't know what that is. But anyway, they would sit on like the fender. I um, don't understand what it is. And then some lamps, headlights, lamps, windshield um, frame, uh, handbrake, some other teeny little bitty parts. All right, and here is the body. So this looks like, well, no, it's not a roof. What that is right there. I thought it was a roof, but the thing don't have a roof in the picture at least. Firewall. Oh boy, that seat's nice. Super detailed and nice. Nice, nice, nice. Floorboard where the, the uh your uh, pedals go right there, which I thought I saw. Maybe that's on the side or something, because there's your Right there's your floorboard. But that looks like it because it's got three holes also. I don't know how to check in the instructions to see. There's your body, sides of the body right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it does have a top. Okay. Yeah, it's got a convertible top. Well, I guess you could build it as just a Model T. This is probably a, oops. This is probably a tree here that's not specific to a fire truck. I'm thinking possibly and you could just build a model t because that thing don't have a, a a roof but there you go it comes with that so i bet this um i bet this tree here is a sort of universal so now let me look and see if it has a top boy they're nice instructions too simple one step at a time <laughs> You do this, just this, and then just this. It's not like a whole bunch of stuff at once going on. All right, so here is, yep, that's the floorboard, the one-piece floorboard. So I don't know what that other, the other floorboard part was for. Don't have a clue. It doesn't look like this is going to get a roof does have all that that's not a step that was part of a carrying thing in the back I guess put uh, hoses or, or something like that in possibly yep that's what that was it was a hose that goes into here that's that coiled up deal you yeah, know no uh 
no roof so that would be a oh, that tree would be just for several other vehicles that would that will look like a really nice model will look like that will be a really nice model kit when complete i like it i think these are neat model t's model a's european cars of this year american cars of this year uh, these years early 1900s late 1800s just i just think they're the coolest so they do have that's neat they have although well no it's in, in english too they have Tamiya or Ravel colors right here. So to tell you what color it is, gloss red in Tamiya X7. And then it's got a semi-gloss black, light brown steel, bright brass, rust, chrome silver, clear red, clear blue, semi-gloss, white wood. And that's neat. So I've never built one of these. I only have one other kit. It's also, like I say, a 1913 Model T Speedster. And uh, I can't wait to, to start on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know, have you ever built an ICM model kit? Because they look outstanding. I know everyone raves um, on Tamiya as far as being like quality, top-notch quality. But it looks like to me, just by looking at this, that these probably would be as good, if not better, uh, than Tamiya as far as quality goes. I just don't see how that couldn't but i've not fitted any pieces together so i couldn't couldn't really vouch for that but anyway man too cool all right guys well thank you so much for watching this unboxing of this 1914 model t fire truck with the crew can't wait to get them all put together painted up and uh send him out on a mission all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to check out hobby nut models where this came from hobbynutmodels.com linked in the description below go click on that link it helps me out if you'll click on it it take you straight over there but it helps me out tremendously if you use that link appreciate that um it's facebook group go join if you had model car videos facebook group the spring store grab yourself a great sticker a t-shirt or coffee mug and patreon group if you're not a member of the patreon group if you'd like your name on that scroll that or or uh banner of names that comes up at the beginning of the videos go join i encourage you to you don't have to but if you want to go join we have private live streams um try to do it once a month don't always get there but anyway we try to do it once a month and it's a great time get on there and talk model cars for hours all right guys so thanks for watching check all the things in the link in the description of the video and we will see you all on the next one so take care bye